I'm a volunteer at the food bank. Well, we just we wait for people to come in with uh, vouchers and um, provide them with the food. It's um, been packed in barrow. We're just like a, a satellite. It comes ready packed from barrow, and then when people come in with a voucher, um, we provide them with the food. It's the fact that a lot of people are very low paid, even though there's perhaps two wages going into a home, and if there's children, it, it's. It, they're just not managing and if a crisis comes up say your boiler breaks down well that has to come first you need your hot water so each voucher is enough food for three days for however many people there's in the family odd times we have a sort of an extras cupboard which covers like toilet rolls dog and cat food which is very important sometimes uh, like uh, washing up liquid washing powder we ask them if they need any products they tick a little box, we don't always have that sort of thing in, but if we've got it, we can uh, provide them with that as well. <laughs> I could tell you that on a Wednesday we have a delivery of bread, and sometimes there's cakes. <laughs> Greg's lets, Greg sends us pastries and cakes. Some of the stuff we can freeze, because we do have a little freezer there, but things like fresh sandwiches, they've got to be eaten that day that we get them. So we tend to give out the sandwiches. We get people dropping in just for a drink and they haven't got a voucher, well, we can give them a sandwich to take home. I just, I suppose that the reason I went to the food bank is, it's pretty basic, isn't it? Having something to eat. I've done it since it opened in Ulverston, actually. But the, the, the best thing, I think, is the interaction with the other people that I work with. They're a nice group, of, a lovely group of people. All, all like-minded, obviously. <laughs> the people that give us the food want to know that the food is going to the people that need it not somebody just coming in because they, for whatever reason, you know, because people can pull the wool over people, your eyes. But being honest with you, actually, it doesn't happen a lot in Ulverston. Most of the cases that I've seen, people are desperate and go out of the food bar actually crying sometimes because they didn't, they didn't realise that, um, you know, they, they think we're quite, we're, we're good with them and, and we make them feel welcome. The last thing you want them to feel is any, any stigma to the fact that they're getting food. We just want them to go away happy and because they're happy sometimes they're in tears, God bless them, which is a bit sad. But um, yeah, 